Let me show you how we do stuff around here. Actually, my department uses Monday.com, so I'm good. Okay. Hello there, lady. Hey, 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 can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Can you hear the music? No, ma'am. Okay. And so I'm going to make sure that I'll share my sound. It says you're recording, though. <clears throat> I do have that part. Okay. See if I can pause it. Yeah, I was just trying to say, hey, do I come on like I usually come on? Just say your name and all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, here we go. So again, the Rockefellers has have used this since 1913. All right. And if you look them up, they're known for being the world's number one, America's number one family that has passed down six to eight generations of wealth, right? To their kids and their kids and their kids. And so they have held true to that saying in Proverbs where the scripture lets us know a good man passes on an inheritance to his children's children. And it's not hard to do, right? This is the way that he did it. So we're gonna dive in here a little bit and then um, I'm going to actually show you exactly how it's done. All right. So moving my screen right along here. So the first thing I'm going to go over is the eight ways people build wealth in America. The number one way we all know is a bank, right? We're all familiar with putting our money in a bank because that's what we're taught from our parents and from our grandparents. Hey, Put your money in the bank, you know, save your money, right? We know that. But look at this. If there's, if these are all the eight wealth building categories in America, well, a bank only has four. Wow. Four. It's tax exempt benefits. Nope. No growth potential. Nope. You can't leave it, you know, legacy. Nope. And it doesn't avoid probate. But there's no risk of losing it. 
It's protected and you have access to it. All right. But what about a 401k, an IRA and a TSP? These accounts right here are the number one way people build wealth. This is where they put their money. But look at this. This is the issue with that. It only has one, one of the eight wolf building categories. Isn't that crazy? And this is supposed to be where the majority, millions, hundreds and millions of Americans are putting their money. And it only has one of the eight wolf building categories. Now that's a problem, right? Look at it. Tax exempt benefits, nope. Risk, no risk of losing it. Look at that. There's an X buyout. That means you can lose it. People have. Last year, over 12 million Americans lost money in it. Crazy. And look at this. It's not protected. It's not protected. It's open. It's wide open to the market. It's not protected. And then look at here. Access to liquidity. Nope. If you're not 59 and a half, you can't touch that without a penalty. And then if you do, you're going to get hit with a penalty. It's crazy. And look at right here. Legacy for family. You cannot even pass this on to your family. And that's sad. So imagine going to work, right? 40 and 50 years, putting all your time into a job and you can't even pass this on to your family. Because when you go to retire, your family is who you've saved this money you know, for. You want to travel. You want to do things. You might want to build homes. But if it's wide open to the market, that means I'm risking losing it all. Everything got worked so hard for. And then look at here, probate avoidance. Nope, it does not avoid probate. So why would anybody put their money right there? 401k, IRA, TSP, why? It's simply because they have not been taught where else to put it. No one has told them of any other place to put their money. All right, so let's keep going. Look at this, Roth IRA. A lot of people put their money in Roths, right? But Look at it. It only has two of the wealth building categories. That's crazy, right? That's crazy, but watch this. Look at the FIA. That means fixed indexed annuity. Now, these are really good, right? They are really good. And of course, we recommend them. However, it has five of the eight wealth building categories. The thing that I love about it is... And let me slide this thing up here because I don't want to miss anything. All right. The thing that I love about it is right here, it has growth potential, right? It can grow right here. There's no risk of losing it. It is protected. Why? Because it's in the indexing strategy. And anything that's indexed is protected because it's not exposed wide open to the market. It doesn't participate in the lows of the market. It only gains the highs. All right. And then look, it's protected. The insurer is protected. The annuitant is protected. Perfect. And then here, you can leave a legacy to your family. You can pass this on to your family. And so that's, a, you know, just one of the reasons why we recommend that. It's because you can pass it on. Here's another thing I love. It avoids probate. You do not have to go to court for this. If something happens, your family doesn't have to go to court. And for those of you who are familiar with Chadwick Bosman, right? The guy who played Black Panther. We love that movie, right? However, do y'all know his wife only came out with 1.3 million? He had 9 million. But guess what? He did not have it in a will. He did not have it in a trust. So his wife had to fight in court just to get his money. And that's sad. It was not safe or protected. Now you would think Someone that was that big, right? They would have had some type of management and accountants that knew to protect their money so that their families could get it, but that's not so. Same thing happened with Prince and Aretha Franklin. They had to fight. And Prince's family had to give back to the government all of his money because it was not protected. So you want to make sure your money is protected and that the government cannot just take it from you. And so those are the things that we teach you know, people how to do is protect it. All right. Now the last category. Oh, let me click it here. 
All right, perfect. It's the IUL. This right here is what we have been helping thousands of people get here lately. Now that they're getting the knowledge, now that they're getting the education and finding out, you know, these great things about this IUL and how the Rockefellers did this and did that, people are starting to understand the power behind this IUL, Index Universal Life. It covers all eight of the wealth building categories. Now, tonight, infinite banking was the number one thing I wanted to go over with you all when it comes to um, this workshop. This is the first thing I want to hit, all right? Infinite banking. And so there's a video on YouTube with Cash. I don't know if you all know him, very popular. He's known for teaching infinite banking and the IUL structure how it works, and how every last single one of you on here can use it, how all your families can use it, all right? No matter where you are financially, every last single one of you can use this right here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch gears a little bit. I'm going to come off this screen, and I'm going to give, let's see, you all some great nuggets here. Um, and if you have any questions, Please feel free to type in the chat as I'm talking. We will get to um, you all's questions. All right. So while I'm switching gears here, let me. All right. I'm just going to stop my share and I'm just going to do a new share. All right. Go back here. All right. All right. Perfect. All righty. Y'all can still see my screen here. I believe y'all can. All right, perfect. Yes, we can. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. All right. So I'll make sure I'm sharing my sound so you can hear this. This right here when I so tell you. you've decided to become a real estate wholesaler. Can you well, all hear you the video playing? Side hustle that yes, we can hear the video playing, but it's perfect. just showing your, um, you know, it, it, if you know, it, your if flyer. It fail, at least. Okay. Can y'all see the video? No, no, just no. your flyer. Okay, all right. So let me go ahead and bring it here. New share. Here we go. All right. Can y'all see it now? Yep, we in there. All right, perfect. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play. For those those of you, y'all you, may know who Candy Burris is. She was a singer from Escape. Very, very old. Oh, uh, group, um, very popular group. And then, of course, you have Cash. Now, Cash is known for teaching, I mean, millions of people, infinite banking. Now, she's going to explain to us her experience on it. And then I'm going to show you exactly how it works in an illustration as simple as where a child can understand it. All right. So I'm going to head, go ahead and hit play. I know I'm feeling because it was something that that I did, right? It was it was who I am. So I'm feeling at, like I can't fail at being myself. Right. You know, you know. So so if something fails, then it's just the people that you were, you know, uh, after or the people you were kind of going to. They just weren't your people, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I love that. Another thing I, I, I you know I want I want to talk about because um, you know I've you know I've watched a, a lot a lot of your stuff uh, interviews and 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 I know that you. Um, talk about life insurance, right? Which the first time I heard you talk about life insurance as a wealth building tool, that's the other thing, right? Because I think that a lot of times when people talk about life insurance, uh, they talk about life insurance in a, you know, just to cover burial. But I've heard you talk about it in a way that could potentially help build wealth. Um, at, what, at what point did you understand um, you know, all of the different financial instruments that could actually help you not only, you know, maintain your wealth that you have, but also continue to build it. There are so many different ways that you can secure your wealth and build, build your wealth mm -hmm. for generations. And um, so many different ways for us to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, yeah. Um, so, I mean, I guess you had to sit down with a financial planner to like kind of figure out which ones are the best ways for you to make the best of yours. Um, if we can talk about um, life insurance specifically, uh -huh. um, there are different things I have to say about life insurance policies. So, okay, so for one, um, 
I would talk about it in an investment sense. So when I was 26 and I was about to have my daughter, Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to, you know, of course I was like stressed. I was like, okay, I need to invest in my daughter. I need to figure things out, blah, 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 you know? And so that was when I was introduced to, you know, of course I wanted to do a life insurance policy. So policy. So just in case something had happened to me during birth, you could be a, okay. But then they told me about, okay, it's not only just in case something happens to you during birth, but this is an investment policy. So as it's a retire investment life insurance policy, so you can invest into it. So as you get older, um, you know, if you need to retire, uh-huh. you can pull out tax-free later on in life. Uh-huh. So that was important to me because, you know, obviously in the entertainment industry, sometimes, you know, we making a lot of money when we're young, but then later on in life, you ain't popping like you used to right, right. and the money ain't coming in the same. So you got to figure out like, okay, well, what am I going to do when I get older? Because everybody's not, um, everybody didn't set up their 401k or they, whatever they were setting up, you know, when they had their regular jobs, uh-huh. you know, if you don't have a regular job. You may not be thinking the same. Yes. So, um, I was like, okay. So they asked me all these questions like, okay, well, when do you think you want to retire? At that time I thought, I want to retire at 40. Right. <laughs> so, I'm 44 now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just to tell you. So anyways, so I was like, I'm going to retire at 40. So they was like, okay, what do you think? How much money do you think you'll need a year? I was like, um, I think I'll re- need like $250,000 a year. Uh-huh. That'd be good. And it's like, okay. So they told me how much money I need to put in it a year uh-huh. to be able to take out $250,000 a year starting at 40 until I would be 99, 250,000 tax free. Uh-huh. Until I turn like 99 years old. Yeah. Now, my. Uh-oh. Most people have no clue that in 2023, the best way to make money oh, on Amazon okay. is not issue. with physical. <laughs> Mind you, um, that money would be protected. So it's like, so say, for instance, let's say you come into, or you're, let's say you balling mm-hmm. okay and you get this life insurance policy or whatever and let's say somebody sues you mm-hmm. or let's say how okay we'll use um oj yep. simpson yeah, yeah everybody knows oj simpson got sued mm-hmm. or whatever mm-hmm. and they want all this money from him but um somehow he's still able to live and he's maintained because from what i was told most of his money was in life insurance or mm. whatever and so you can't take money from somebody's life insurance policy yeah. so he's able to still live off the money that he's able to pull out of his life insurance mm. every, every yeah. year yeah. Yeah. so even though he's living he's still able to pull that money out i guess that's annually a bar right live. there like I, you that, get what i'm saying that's, ma- that's a and major so gem for people who are making money it's a good idea or a good tool for you to look at because obviously when you make money, people are always trying to sue you, trying to get you and there, you need to figure out ways to protect your money. So that's one way to look at it. Now for people who don't have no money, Uh a friend of mine told me one day, they said that they had a home girl who had took life insurance policies out on all of her close friends, Uh like five of them. And as they all got older, People start dying off one by one. And before you knew it, she was a millionaire Uh. from the life insurance policies that she had taken out on friends. So let's just say you're in your 20s right now, Uh right? And each of your friends, you had got a $200,000 life insurance policy on. Now, when you're in your 20s, those life insurance policies are not that much for a couple hundred thousand dollars. You know, you'd be surprised it's not as much money because you're in your 20s. For sure. So mm-hmm. you paying on it, you know, and then you never stop paying on it now. Uh-huh. And then you right. pay on it. And then, Lord forbid, one of your friends died in a car accident. Mm-hmm. Lord forbid, boom, you got $250,000. Right. Now that may sound really sad for you to benefit off of your friend's death, uh-huh. but let's think about how many of our friends out here did not have any life insurance that we having to get a uh, GoFundMe right. to bury them. Mm-hmm. Well, not only were you able to get money for yourself, but you was able to bury your friend. You was able to put some money aside for your friend's um, child's college fund and some other things. And 
money for yourself. So we got to think of things differently because the thing that a lot of black people don't do, a lot of white people are doing. A lot, a lot of white people are doing life insurance policies. And that's how they all get rich when they family members right. die. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, on the other hand, unfortunately, a lot of us are having GoFundMe's right. when we lose family members. And that's a sad thing. And so we might need to think about things differently. So that's why I we're all going to die. Right. Everybody's going everybody to everybody's everybody's yeah. go at some point. Yeah. We don't like to think about it, but we should. And the best time to think about it is when you're 20 something, when you don't want to think about it because it's cheap. Man. Right. So get it when you're young, when your kids, when they teenagers, when they 20 some, when they super young, because it's cheap and then you keep on paying. It. And then unfortunately, if something happened and then everything is taken care of and then you're going to have some money. Uh -huh. It's so sad to say, but people get rich like that. Right. So why black people can't start right. getting rich like that? Right. I mean, and, 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 and uh, like, all right. So I'm just going to stop it right there. And now we're going to get in to the root of a lot of the things that she was saying. So now it can make sense to you all. All right. So let me fast forward my screen here. Can you all still see my screen? Yes. All right, perfect. So yes. if y'all really took in what she said, right, you want to know, first of all, you want to sit down with someone because it's not one size fit all. This is not one size fit all. Everybody's situation is different. So you're going to obtain, you know, um, a, a financial needs analysis based upon where you are. And that's where you move forward according to where you are financially. All right. And so let me break down to you how this infinite banking works. Again, it's very simple. A child can understand this. All right. And I do have it recorded in case, you know, you all would like to go back and revisit it. So here's you, right? Here's you all. And then here's the bank. All right. Now the bank, your money, all your money sitting in the bank right now, you're probably getting zero to 1% right? Disrespectful, real disrespectful, okay? But watch this. So here, I say if it moves, right? You've already paid taxes. So you pay taxes for your money with the bank. You know, if you work a job, you get direct deposit, right? Taxes are already taken off, right? <laughs> so you're paying taxes. And then did you all know if you have 250000 in the bank, the FDIC only insures up to 250000 So I don't know if you all heard what happened in California when all those people lost a lot of money because they had over 250000 in the bank and it was gone because the bank went under and their money was gone. People were losing it because half their money was gone. All right? So watch this. Now, you're talking about these ratios here. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Now, what if you had this insurance? Did you all know you get eight to 15%? Eight to 15%. So the bank, look at the arrow. The bank, when you put your money in the bank, the bank is taking your money and putting it inside of insurance. Did you all know that? If you did not know that, put a two on the chat. If you did not know that, put a two on the chat. Again, when you have your money in the bank, the bank takes your money and puts it in insurance. And the bank is getting anywhere from 8 to 15% on every single dollar that you have in there. Every single dollar. While you're only getting... Zero to one percent with your money sitting in your bank, the bank is getting a huge percentage between 18 and 15 percent, some higher off of your money. Wow, it's crazy, right? And it's tax free, it's tax free, it is tax free, and no risk is being taken. So watch this. Let's take it a step further. Let's just say you go get a loan from the bank, right? Well, the bank is pulling the money from the insurance. 
and giving it to you. What do you think is going to happen when you have to pay that money back? You're paying interest, taxes on that money. But the bank, all they did was pull it from the insurance company and just gave it to you. They're not, they're not paying all that interest and in tax. All right. So now what can you do? Right. Now, their money, the bank having your money, the bank having your money and insurance, they're only getting the highs of the market. They are not participating in the lows. And that's why there's no risk. That's why there's no risk. They're not risking anything. It's protected. All right. Now, again, talking about zero to 15 percent. That zero was there because zero is the absolute worst that can happen. Zero. Zero is your hero when it's parked here or going, going against the market. If your money is inside of a 401k, a 403b, or a TSP, a 457, or a 401a, or a 403b, it's in the market and it's losing money every time the market drops. But over here, if you have your money in the index, right, and in the insurance, I don't care what the market does, you don't lose a single penny. You don't lose a, the, the, the floor, right, is zero. Amazing, huh? Pretty awesome. All right. So now watch this. It's, now, this has been going on since 1913. Again, I'm going to make sure you all get this information. There's a book called Money, Wealth, and Life Insurance that breaks this down. All right. Since 1913, this has been going on, right? This infinite banking. Now, let's just say we bypass the bank now. Let's just say you. You bypass the bank and you go straight up to the insurance company yourself. So we're going to cross out the middleman. We're going to bypass the middleman now. We're going to push them out of the way. Now who's getting the 8 to 15%? You. You are. And that right here is what a lot of people will never know. But you guys are going to get it complimentary. You guys are getting it for free and complimentary, Right? How many of you, how many of your family members don't know this information, right? This is information that you can share with your family so they know this information. It's free. It's, com it's, it's complimentary, right? It's complimentary, right? So again, you go straight to the insurance company yourself. All you have to do to qualify is, you know, submit an application to get an approval. That's it. Is an approval, all right? Now, this index, this IUL, Index Universal Life, has family banking strategy, wealth accumulation. It also has living benefits. What does that mean? What happens if you get hurt tomorrow? Car accident, um, a sickness or illness comes upon you and you cannot go back to work. You can't clock in on that clock and go back to work, right? Your income stops. Right. But this IUL will continue to take care of you in the event that you ever come down with a credit, chronic or a terminal illness. If you lose your income due to any of no. these events, it will continue to pay you as if you're still working. All right. Look at this. This indexing has protection on it. It builds an emergency fund. Saves retirement for you. So when you retire, it's tax-free, right? If you have children, it builds a college fund for your children. It is a savings. You can use it as a savings. And look at this. This is my favorite. The Internal Revenue Code 7702A, right? It shows right here, 7702A, where you can pull the money out and touch it tax-free. It is protected by five tax codes that protects this IUL, all right? The first code, Internal Revenue Code 162, it is tax deductible. The Internal Revenue Code 7702B, it has long-term care. If you have to go to a nursing home, right, or living facility because you can't take care of yourself, this will take care of you, where you do not have to go and deplete your retirement. 
or touch any monies out of your pocket. This will take care of you. All right. Tax free growth. It grows tax free. All right. And then the Internal Revenue Code, which is the DEFRA, the 7702A, tax free withdrawals when you need the money, when you need to touch it the most. And the last code, which is the TAMRA, the 101A, it is tax free when it goes to your beneficiary if something happens to you. Powerful, powerful, powerful. This is why O.J. Simpson was able to continue to be a millionaire after all that trouble he got into. His NFL got taken away from him and all of his real estate got taken away from him, but they could not touch his millions because it was protected right here. I don't care what a person tries to do, sues you or what it is, they cannot touch your millions when it's locked right here. They cannot touch your life insurance, all right? So there are seven protections on your family, your health, your home, or your business. If you know someone who owns a business, this puts protection on it, right? We have something that's called a key employee. What does that mean? Well, let's just say you have a business, right? And something happens to you, right? You're protected. But let's just say you have a business and you have a key person who runs that business for you. They keep, you know, that great system going. They keep everything flowing for you on your behalf. And something happens to them. Do you know you can put this on that individual and money still comes to your business and your company because of this right here? You don't lose any money. Your, your company doesn't go under. That's how McDonald's was built. That's how Walt Disney World was built, right? Macy's, all these huge companies have never went under and they never will because they have this right here, right? Market losses. You have to worry about market losses with this. And then look, it's protected against the IRS, the Internal Revenue Code. They made sure, right? These five codes right here protects this whole thing. Then inflation, you don't have to worry about being affected by inflation. It doesn't matter what the economy does, right? Your money still grows. And then look at this, creditors and predators, they can't touch your money. Wow, wow, wow. And this is the reason why we want to get this information out to as many people as possible. Because a lot of people, they don't know this information, you know? And when I sit down with people and they ask me, well, how come I never seen this before? You know what I ask them? When is the last time you sat down with the financial professional and they say, well, never. Well, that's the reason why you've never heard of it. Right. Makes sense. Right. Absolutely. So this right here is just showing and I'm about to wrap things up here and give the floor to you all. So if you guys want to ask questions um, or if there's already questions in the chat, I'll go ahead and answer them. So this right here is just simply showing a historical performance of what took place from 1997 all the way down to 2022. All right. This is this is showing you what took place on this side. You have the market, the variable market. All right. 401k, TSP, anything that's in the market or that's in the tax later bucket is on the dark blue side. On the light blue side is the IUL, right? The index universal life. And if you take a look at it, if you take a look at it as, as our history has gone on through time, right? COVID hit us in 2020. Look at this. The market was, of course, down. It was down again in 2022. Everywhere where you see the deep blues on the dark blue was every time the market took a hit and they lost money. But look over here on the light blue side. The light blue side has never taken a hit. Remember when it showed a zero floor on that um, scale? It showed zero at the bottom and 15 up top. This right here shows you zero is your hero when you have it in the indexing. So if you look up, if you look up um, indexing or if you look up infinite banking, it's simply a strategy in which your money grows. So everything is contingent around the vehicle in which you use to save and grow your money. And so Sit down with the financial professional. There's there's many of us. And of course, like I said, we do this complimentary. It is sponsored by the top, my God, top 10 um, insurance companies in the world. 
right? It's sponsored. Your financial needs analysis is sponsored. So it doesn't hurt to sit down to see where you are and what you can get for you and your family, all right? I'm going to bring this part out into a close and let you guys ask, you know, ask some questions. If there's any questions in the chat, um, those who are moderating for me, if you can let me know. But if, you know, anyone wants to come off mute and ask me some questions that I can answer now, I will go ahead and do that at this time. Is there any questions for me? There's no questions in the chat at this moment. Um, okay. At this time, you can place your questions in the chat if you have any. We have a message. Oh, no questions in the chat. Thank you, Ms. Kimberly. Awesome, awesome. All right, so let me stop this share. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, uh, Ms. Pay, if you want to put my calendar out there for those who may want to hop on my calendar, uh, if you want to reach me by phone number, I'll also give you all 941 Two zero three nine six nine zero. Um, that is my direct, you know, contact. Um, again, um, my calendar will be in the chat here. Um, if anyone has a question, if anyone want to meet me and you know do a one on one. But this was again week one of the workshop. The fall next week on the twenty eighth, same time. I'm going to go a little further and break down to you the IUL. Tonight was just the infant and banking structure, but on next Sunday, I'm going to break down the IUL, how it works, and I'm going to go through the numbers. I'm going to show you some actual real-time accounts and numbers on what it, uh, what it looks like to save money and what you can pull out and draw out. So again, if you guys have any questions for me, please, you know, don't hesitate to ask. And um, Miss Artira, I can... Give it back over to you if you want to close this out. Um, if not, thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you for coming and, you know, tuning in to see and get this information and knowledge. If you know anybody that needs this information that can benefit from it, let us know, right? I we are here to help. Yes. Um, this is Marvel in Colorado. Hey, Marvel, how are you? I finally got in. Thank you, Felicia. Um, <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Yes, ma'am. Um, what I'm saying, you know, I have this business and mm -hmm. I wanted to know how would I know how much I can insure or how much I can take from it mm -hmm. at any given time? Okay. So what I would do is I would sit down with you, mm -hmm. right? One-on-one. -on -one, and I would actually pull up the numbers. So if you, let's just say, um, you know how much your business is worth right now. Right. Yeah. right. Basically, what I would do is sit down with you, find mm -hmm. out what that business is worth, find out, you know, what revenue is coming in. And then from then put a game plan in place, you know, whatever um, goals you have for that business. Just go mm -hmm. ahead, put a game plan in place for you. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, we first need to get an approval from whatever company is going to um, be the best connect for you and just kind of go yeah. from there. OK. But it, okay. it'll, it'll start with just a conversation to find out what are your goals for that company. Good question. Okay. Really, really good question. Thank you. Absolutely. Anybody else? Anybody else? No, no. Okay, if not, you know, we'll go ahead and close it out. Again, thank you guys so much for your time. And uh, Miss Miss Marvel, um, I'll I'll be reaching out to you. Um, I believe I I, ha I have your phone number, so I'll reach out to you. And um, of course, of course, of course, Miss uh, Miss Teresa, you're very welcome. Again, we're gonna come back and we're gonna tackle this thing again. But I like I said, next Sunday I'm gonna show you the numbers, show you how to pull the money out, show you what it looks like when pulling money out, and right, and so. We'll just move it on from there. But if there's no there's no questions, thank you guys. And you know, you all be blessed. Thank you so very much, Miss Felicia Bryant. You are so awesome. We appreciate first and foremost um taking and dedicating your time to inform everyone around the world. We invite you all back on behalf of Charlotte Unlimited, myself, Atira Ashley, CEO, and my co co-host, Miss Sierra Smith. Thank you for joining us as well. We look forward to seeing you all next week for part two. So please, 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 there is not late registration. It is free knowledge to help um, change the generations in the in direction of your sales.
So please, please, please make sure that you guys are back. Bring more people. And we are so excited to have you. And just a reminder, we will be posting this one. Um, and we look forward to another great show. You guys be blessed and have a blessed evening. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night.